Hello everybody and welcome to Stunt Gamers with Zanaris. Today we are playing Neo Scavenger version 0 0.982 Bravo. This is the beta build, the public beta available on Steam and Desura I think is also having it in every other possible place you can buy Neo Scavenger probably. Um, this is not the regular release build, it is the beta build. There's a bunch of untested features and stuff but um i'll be playing a new game proving that yes i have played this a little bit since the last time you saw me i've got a little bit more of a clue of what i'm doing and i've kind of read into the strategy of the game a little bit so well hopefully it'll be more interesting i've discovered that botting and trapping are probably the two most important skills in this game overall they trump literally everything else Except for, like, tough or strong. Because if you're strong or tough, you're going to scare off a lot of the enemies that are going to come after you. And... They also show up. Like, people are going to see you like, Ah, oh, he looks tough. I'd probably stay away from that. And turn this down just slightly. Make sure you can hear me over it, but um, I'm also going to take myopia because this one is curable later in the game. You can't see as far. Not only is it curable, it's replaced with eagle eye, so it's like over curable. But that fifth skill is going to come in really handy. Tough rather than strong because tough has more overall benefits. Uh, pain threshold is good. Immune system is awesome. And, well, resistance to wounds is also awesome. But this will show up when enemies look at me and they'll be like, oh, this guy looks tough. I'm going to stay away from him. And let's see, what else should I take here? Tracking I haven't found a use for. Um, personally, I'm big into computers, so I'm going to take hacking, and I'm probably going to go with ranged, even though I'm probably not going to end up with a ranged weapon for quite a while. But, um, as you see, I got my four basic human traits, botany, trapping, tough, and hacking, and I took myopia as a detractor trait, I guess. I won't see as far, I'm not good at detecting stuff. But it's curable later, so basically I just have to survive long enough where it's no longer important. And because of that, I got an extra trait, so I went with ranged. Because, well, uh, bullets are a rare and valuable asset. They're also one of those leveling thing on the field. So because of that, I, if I'm going to use them, I want to know I'm going to be able to hit with them. So I'm going to confirm this and wake up in the cryo, cryo chamber. I'll give you some time to read this. So I want to hope everybody reads maybe a little bit slower than me. I know I read pretty fast, but now there's a bunch of different like. There's, I think, half, no, I'd say probably about 80% of the skills give you a resolution to this first encounter, and I don't think I've done botany before, so, a plant catches your eyes, you scan the room for supplies, Ricinus communis, the castor oil plant is growing from the, in from the window, this plant can be highly toxic and most animals will avoid it if possible, hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to check the console here, although I already know all this information. Basically, there's two other people here. This is me, which I'll prove in a moment once I pull up my inventory. And this is my account number. What's kind of disappointing is I found out later that this doesn't really play. If you view this screen, I'd hope to set a flag that says, hey, I know that 
there is just my account number and I have a little thing of well, a little tag on my wrist that says, Hey, I'm Philip Kindred and this is my billing info, so maybe I can connect the dots there, but climb out the window now and see the world. Now, if you saw any of my last videos, I'm pleased to report that this version does add a little bit. There is some more stuff to see. But uh, first things first, I'm going to go find me something to scavenge. Hopefully with, like, you know, like, something I can wear would be great. Also, a little tip I picked up on, if your options over here are like a crumbling building or a, something that's about to fall apart, it is inherently more dangerous. Oh, I found stuff. <laughs> uh, if only that was in better condition. All of the pants work. Shotgun with strap. And ooh, that's really nice actually. I hope that becomes built in. Even though I'm not gonna turn these on because their condition is probably gonna fall apart instantly. Oh, while I'm in here. Hospital wrist strap labeled Philip Kindred. Proof that hey, I might be this guy. And yeah, it probably did alert everything nearby, not that I really care at all. A few other things I picked up on. Um, the outdoor temp is relative compared to what you're wearing. Eat some ketchup packet. Hmm. Small or medium monocular optical zoom. How very specific of you. Awesome, I found a bag in good condition even. That's sweet. Oh, this game is being nice to me. It gave me this small, really valuable one right off the bat. Aw, oh, you're so nice, game. That means you're probably going to be horribly dickish later. And I'm slowly freezing to death. Now, I've already done this a few times, so I know this is almost inherently always safe. Some cool glass shards. Anyways, unfortunately, I don't have the skills to use either of these. I think for that, you need electrician and mechanic. So you can make this a really awesome campsite, but... Meh. Since I can't do anything with that though, I head out the window and set up my campsite here. Which is this one. And then inventory. Take this in there, put this in there. And wait for the freezing thing to go away. So as I can get all my moves back. And then it's nighttime. Something to scavenge here. What? Oh yay, botany. Love botany. 
Botany is a wonderful skill that will tell you whether or not plants are edible. In this case, mushrooms. Agaricus Bisporus. I sound like I'm casting a spell. They are edible. They are also worth something. If you don't have botany, I do not believe the values are the same, and it won't let you know like whether or not it's edible or not. You could find something that's edible, you could find something that's poisonous. A lot of poisonous things look like edible things. There's a trick to the berries I've discovered. And water, most of the water you find is safe to drink, although having tough probably makes things more survivable. And since well, I haven't found a good source of water yet, I'm just going to risk it and go with it. I'm going to take the mushrooms. And back to my camp. As night falls, you notice there's a bright glow coming from the east, easily visible through the treetops. It's no guarantee, but it could be a sign of civilization. Maybe even a lead on where you are, or who. And if nothing else, it's a good landmark to strike towards as any. Always important to have them landmarks. Ah, oh, I can't see anything. I need to find me a monocular optical zooming device. <laughs> it's fun to say. A turn, and I might as well just go to sleep. Now, you think there'd be a button here saying, hey, I want to go to sleep, but no, it's just this button right here. And then I'm out cold. But I want to wake up all warm and fuzzy. And I'm going to wait for the dawn to come, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to see anything, and that would be horrible. Especially with my relative lack of eyesight. Curse you, myopia! Okay, we got a few options here. An abandoned office tower, an abandoned apartment building, and a locked storage shed. I can't do much with this, because I don't have strong, or a crowbar, or a lockpick kit. But these two are considerably safe. There's a couple other options that I'll point out later about what's going on. I'll use this just because. Um, I'm not a big fan of using sleds, so I'll see what else I find here. So you really slow you down. Ah, oh, darn. Okay. Okay, so I've got a crumbling apartment building. The chances of something going wrong on this are much higher than your regular apartment building. It's not something I'd recommend. So I'm going to avoid it. Ah, see. Wait, I didn't click that one, did I? Well, there's your case in point. This is a crumbling apartment building. And I have a sore hand. You evil, evil game. See, it's not even. It's a different one. See, it just happens whenever. So I'm going to leave, and I'm going to go explore this way a little bit. Ah, uh, yes, hills. I love you, hills. And I'm slowly freezing to death. Awesome. Uh oh. Oh, I'm getting the frack away from you. Ah, oh, darn it. 
Go to sleep, me. And my night vision goggles fell apart. Not surprising. Now when you come back to areas, there's going to be new options. And I'll find different stuff. The Rise of Zenua. Last week's insurrection in China has left the world reeling as the Zenua government wrests control with surgical precision and frightening speed. In a statement to the global community, Zenua representatives have stated that the new government is only a natural evolution of the civilization state and Zenua are simply custodians of the Han people as they enter a new age of enlightenment. That's awesome. <laughs> That's about to fall apart. Look at all of these sleds, man. These sleds. Too bad it's not really worth it for me because I don't have anything to carry around. Now, I did discover that you can craft from tiles directly. In this case, there's a river here. Look at that! There's water! And then I can go over to my inventory screen. Item screen. Drink me some water. Now, this is actually kind of unsafe, because there's always that chance that those water is going to be, like, poisoned. But generally, water from actual water sources is decently safe. Nope. I remember one time I hit the jackpot on one of these shacks in the forest. Crude piercing arrow. I suppose I could use it as a stab. I'll take another lighter. I don't mind. I don't have a problem with that at all. Lighters aren't the shiz. Yeah. Uh, this is Zomzoms over here, I think. Which is much closer than I remember it, but um, I'll go into that area later. Yes, I hit the jackpot on clothing. That is awesome. That's going to solve my uh, heat problems very nicely. I'm no longer going to be freezing. And I got a plastic water bottle. Even better is if I managed to find me a backpack. Ooh, pistol rounds. Ammo sells really, really well in this game. If you can find a jackpot of ammo, you're going to have a good time. By good time, I mean you're probably going to be making a fortune. Shoes. I'm no longer barefoot. If only I had a pistol. to leave because I know what Zom Zoms actually is. Although I'm going to loot around it very thoroughly. Uh, 
and I will have to get back soon. Hmm. Call tarp stack. First aid kit has amoxicillin. Top those off. Take those. Actually, I can do this. Effective use of storage space. At least until I get me an actual bag. Yep, nighttime. Darn it. I have lighters, I thought. Dude, did someone jack my light? Oh, they were in the pocket of the pants. Oops. Now, I will say it is highly dangerous to travel at night, so try to avoid it if you can. Yes, I'm aware I'm weak with hunger. I'll fix that next tomorrow. Mushrooms, Amanita, Phalloids, Poisonous Death Cap, not worth much. So red boy red berries are typically poisonous. Blueberries are typically edible, and I think white's 50-50. Ah, white-yellow is 50-50. Toss it in the water bottle. Uh. I was hoping is I'd find a rifle here soon, maybe even a backpack. For those two things, it's amazing what you can do. Rifle will scare off pretty much anything stupid enough to get near you. backpack is wonderful in the amounts of storage spaces it has. See? Ah, red's 50-50. Okay. Handful of poison berries, red. Handful of edible berries, also red. You'll notice that the edible berries are also worth slightly more. I'm going to eat them.
<laughs> Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Really, he had another crude piercing arrow. Launched a flurry of attacks, but it's missed. Oh, this sounds like he has like a treasure trove of junk. Medium sized branch from a tree. <laughs> you can kick someone while they're down. <laughs> See, if they're down... Did we just headbutt each other? Hold up. Player headbutts. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I dodged his tackle. <laughs> You're both dodging. Up, oh, he's coughing up blood. I have the advantage. Oh no, come back here, you. What the hell just happened? 